Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the Sula Tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, my ancestors of love and light. And Heavenly Father, I pray, I pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective from anything that is sent to hurt, harm, or hinder us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. Collective, welcome to my channel, Divine the True Tarot. I'm your reader, Renetta, and we're tapping into the energies of you and your person. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect us as we open ourselves up to you. I had to say that twice, so I'm going to say it again. I said it again. Somebody needs spiritual protection here. Somebody either has spiritual protection or they need spiritual protection here, okay? But we're going to tap into the energies of you and your person. We're going to get a leading energy, a supporting energy, and then we're just going to dive off into the messages, okay? Please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what is the energies, the leading energies of the collective in their person? What are, thank you, we have action. Some call to action is what I'm hearing. Somebody is taking action towards you or it's taking some type of action in this connection. Okay, let's see. What else can you tell me? Broken hearted. <clears throat> Somebody's taking some type of action towards you because they're brokenhearted. Or this is you leaving somebody or taking action away from somebody because you're brokenhearted. We're going to get into it, though. Let's see. Mm. What else can you tell me? Yang and yang. Okay, this could be a um, soulmate connection here with the door to spirit. It's making me feel like twinish here. Okay, and then we have the woman holding a coin. Somebody is rushing back towards you to balance something out, to balance a connection out with you, to heal a connection. This is lifetimes with this yin and yang and healer of the ages. Oh, yeah, this is your soulmate. Y'all done been through this heartbreaking situation or been through some type of heartbreak. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Now it's time to heal it. And this person is being guided by spirit to come back towards you to heal this brokenness in your heart that they have caused. Or this is you about your person. Healer of the angels and the angels, healer of the ages and the angels of love. You see what I'm saying? Now is the time to heal this brokenness that you guys have carried on between each other or in this connection lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Now is the time. Enough. Giving and receiving. New vitality. Now is the time to heal it. Heart chakra. Crown chakra. See what I'm saying? It's time to heal that. Y'all shouldn't have to uh, keep going through this energy of breaking each other's hearts. I mean, you know, lessons haven't been learned from last past lifetime. Seem like to me. Because somebody's always taking some type of action to break somebody's heart in this yin and yang connection. And now you're being guided to heal it. Okay? Somebody is holding, hold, know their value, know their worth with this woman holding the coin. This is not always um, financial. It can be. You know, somebody is also, too, holding back on or saving their money or holding back from giving their money or something like that. Does somebody want to come towards you? Probably want to ask for some money or something like that. But... That's like a side note. But yeah, y'all just kept going through this lifetime after lifetime. And now is the time to stop it, break it, or just heal it. Okay? We're going to take it. We're going to take it. We have awareness. This is a magician at the bottom of the deck. Aries energy and crown chakra and then her chakra. Somebody got some downloads. Somebody got some understanding about what it is that they need to do in order for them to hear this, heal their heart chakra, what actions they need to take with this awareness and this crown chakra. Oh, yeah, they got some downloads and they were lit tea, baby. They are lit tea. They know exactly what to do when it comes to healing this connection with you. This is you or your person, okay? Yeah, we have giving and receiving again at the bottom of the deck, okay? All right. Well, let's see. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. Good. Lovers, see what I'm saying? This is a strong, strong, strong soul contract. Okay, twin flame energy is here. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, yes, it is. And it's some challenging times in this love connection. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Okay, now it's time no more. Stop it. Okay, somebody needs to seek the truth about this yin and yang connection. 
okay? This masculine feminine, masculine feminine, damn. <laughs> Somebody got to be a masculine feminine. Okay, we have a masculine feminine, who knows, but this masculine or feminine dynamic here, this is feeling very twinish. Does somebody feel hopeless and helpless in this connection? And they are suffering in silence. Enough is enough. I keep hearing enough is enough. Now we have the belief, the clarity of belief, because somebody is open. Somebody got awareness of this connection, who you are, or who your person are, is to you and your connection. Solar plexus chakra right here. Somebody needs to open up their solar plexus chakra. Okay. And start bending to the will of the Most High God. Because that's where he rests. Is in our solar plexus. I'm just saying. But with this heartbreaking challenging times. It's, that's why I said enough is enough. And healer of the ages. Somebody this lifetime or this life. This cycle go around. Is really going through it. And they're, they're, they're facing hard times and hardships because of this broken heart that they're in. Somebody is not in a good head space or an emotional space here. And now it's time to heal that energy. Now it's time to heal that connection. Somebody needs to seek the truth about this connection here. They need to seek the truth about their role they play in the connection and actually just seek the truth about the connection, period. Look inside self and find out the enlightenment that you need. Now, I'm going to tell you this, this right here, <laughs> this looks like a, a feminine body part, you know, the, 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 the sweetest, the sweet spot, it do, it, it, it look like it, you got to look up in there, some of you guys are pregnant with twins, I'm just saying, mm, that was random as hell, but hey, that's what it is. Yeah, but somebody needs to seek the truth about this connection because they're suffering in silence and they're feeling hopeless and helpless. They're feeling hopeless and helpless about you in this connection, collective. Wow. But they're coming up to some type of awareness about because they have came into some type of awareness and got some type of dialogue as to who you are and what they're, who you are to them in this connection and what role they have to play in order to keep this connection. So, that's, that's okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about this action? What can you tell me about action, please and thank you? Toil and labor. Somebody know they got to put in the work when it comes to this connection, honey. Okay, they know they got to put in the effort and end the work in order for this connection to come back around or come back together. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. They know what they got to do. They came into that awareness of who you are and what they got to do. Okay? They know they got to start giving and receiving to this connection if they're going to have a new vitality in it. And this is coming after some type of destruction within, disruption within the connection or within they self. And this is why they're sitting in sadness and isolation because they got to confront the shadow side of self when it comes to this divine feminine. Honey boom. Let's roll. What can you tell me about this broken heart? What can you tell me about the broken heart, Holy Spirit? Oh, thank you, main female. Okay, this main female is broken hearted. This could be you, collective. Privileged lady at the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah, this is you. Yeah, somebody got some type of message about some change here. Now they want to make you the privileged lady. First, you was just the main female. And to me, the main female is like, a, um, it's not the mature woman. This is a younger energy. Okay, so this person could have broken your heart in your younger years. Okay, and you still have to heal from that, or you or you still holding the grudge for that, or something like that. But this man, female, is broken hearted, and they're facing challenging times. This young feminine energy. This is also too feeling like a karmic energy. But we're gonna check into that. What can you tell me about this man, female? Let's let's get it. What can you tell me about the main female Holy Spirit? What can you tell me about the main female, please and thank you? Thank you. Imprisonment. Feeling stuck. Somebody can actually be in prison. Okay, somebody feeling stuck, but they want to put they want to put work into this connection here. Yeah, high honor and despair. They don't know this this feminine energy don't know where they stand with you. 
okay? And it's very challenging for them to be in this heartbreaking energy. They feel as though they cannot get out of this heartbreak with this imprisonment and broken heart. This is why I'm saying it's challenging for this person to continue to be broken hearted. This is you or your person. It's too much. This is why it's time to heal. And you guys are being guided by, or your person is being guided by the angel of love. Because they not only broken hearted, they pissed the fuck off. Pissed off about having, by having to keep feeling like this. This is why it's challenging to them. Okay? Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about yin and yang? They want to break free from this. This is, this is being offered to them. The way out, seeking the truth about self is the way that they're going to get out of this stuck, broken-hearted energy. That is a challenge for them because they suffering in silence because they feeling hopeless and helpless. I'm gonna drop down my cards and shit. Hold on, collective. I was trying to I, I was trying to show you something. Ugh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna drop the field. All right, let's get to it. What can you tell me about the yin and yang? Let's get it. Thank you. Courthouse. Spiritual court is here. Somebody was sitting in spiritual court. Yeah, now they're in despair about this main male. This main male is in despair because they sit in spiritual court. Because they kept you in this brokenhearted energy. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And they gave challenges for you. Now it's time to heal from them lifetimes of hurt. You've been suffering in silence too long. Okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about Door to Spirit? Thank you. We have house in the reverse, okay? So somebody is feeling as though somebody could be homeless first off. This is also too part of the challenging times. Somebody feels as though they're not their self with the Door to Spirit and house being in reverse. This is somebody that feels not their self. They feel as though they're living in an illusion of self. Yeah, this is why they got to seek the truth about self. They suffer too long. This is you or your person. They're living in an illusion of self here. Feeling stuck and trapped in this heartbreaking. This broke this heartbroken energy. What can you tell us house is in reverse? What can you tell me about house being in the reverse? Thank you. Child. Somebody could be immature. Okay. We have a journey. Somebody don't want to grow up. Somebody feels stuck in a state, in a mental state is what I'm getting, of being emotionally immature. Or they feel as though they were gullible or naive to their the person to their person in this connection. That's why they feel as though they're living in an illusion of self. With this journey in reverse and child, yeah, somebody didn't want to grow up. Uh -huh, now they're concerned about being in profits here. This is part of that challenging time. Somebody did something very childish. Very, very childish. It's because they haven't grown up emotionally. This is why they're facing challenging times. For some of you guys, your person keep breaking their own heart because of the foolery they do. Mm. For some of you guys, your person that somebody here could be expecting a child with somebody that they work with. Okay, we have expectation, occupation, of course. Yes. Somebody they were dating on the job could be work wife, work husband. They're expecting. This is that immature decisions that that person was making. And whoever had got their co-worker pregnant. Co, uh, what you call that? Work husband or work wife pregnant? Or got the, what should I say? Whoever worked with somebody and either they got them pregnant or they are pregnant, they trying to seek the truth. Is it really that person's baby? This is what I'm getting. This is why they suffer in the silence and facing challenging times because they got pregnant by somebody at work or they got somebody at work pregnant. Unexpected income. You damn right. This child was unexpected, unplanned community somebody they work with 
Mm, mm, mm. This is for some of you guys. Take the messages as they resonate. What can you tell me about woman holding the phone? I heard this could be a boss. Somebody got pregnant by their boss, or they somebody boss got somebody pregnant. Here we have gift. Okay, so woman holding a coin and a gift. This person could give, could like to give nice gifts here, but now they're in despair. Some of you guys, your person knows they lost a gift when they got this person at their job pregnant, or when they got pregnant pregnant by somebody at the job. We got despair, family room, and coffin, and they know that you was the gift, but because they got somebody else pregnant at the job, or got pregnant by somebody else. At the job, they know they lost it, lost it all, and they sitting in that despair energy. That's a part of that challenge of times. That's why they're trying to seek the truth. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Any bells, whistles, car horns, dog barks, anything like that that comes after I say something about the reading, that's confirmation, baby. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about love? The lovers in reverse. They did not want to. They did not want to get that person friendly. I'm getting that again. Pathway. Somebody knows that they had, um, they lost you. Some, now, so, coming off of the pregnancy at work, they know they lost you. They know they broke your heart. They know they lost you. Now they're sitting in challenging times trying to seek the truth because they suffering in silence. You don't want this no more for some of you guys. For others, there is no way that this could come back together until you heal thyself from lifetime after lifetime of hurt and pain that you carried over. This is why this person is seeking the truth about self. Yeah, pathway adjudication. Justice will be served in this connection. Whoever hurt the person that got hurt, justice will be served for the person that got hurt. And judgment will come upon the person that did the hurting. Mm, we have changing message. Challenging times. So, somebody, um, I'm going to lay this on challenging times because the way it flipped out, I just had to get it. We have change and message. Somebody got a message that somebody could have changed homes because we do have home in the reverse. Okay, and that's challenging for them. Somebody can't come home. Somebody moved is what I'm getting. Yeah, they don't love you no more. Ooh, they don't love you no more. That's what I heard. They don't love you no more because you broke their heart. And they done changed their addresses on you. And now somebody got a, a message that somebody moved, they can't come home. Something like that with this was home in the reverse. And that's a challenge. That's a challenge for that person. Oh, ooh, shit. We got a mature woman and a mature man. And privileged lady. Sitting with despair. Somebody lost it all. Somebody lost their counterpart. Mm -hmm. Somebody lost their counterpart. They lost it all. Because they kept breaking this person's heart. They, the yin done lost their yang. Wow. Because they kept breaking that person's heart. It's like, enough, my child. With this healer of the ages and the angel of love. Oh, yeah. The most high God done, done stop, put a stop to this. This is why this person is sitting over here hostile, suffering in silence, feeling hopeless and helpless. Because they broke your heart one too many times or one too many lifetimes. What can you tell me about seek the truth? Thank you. We have distant horizons and we have thief. Somebody is here as a liar. Okay, somebody don't want you to know about the truth. Don't want you to find out about truth. That's why they send over here in silence here. Uh-huh, suffering in silence. They don't want you to know the truth. The truth coming in. Yeah. Ooh. We have... Wealthy man, main male, bad health, marriage. This marriage is in bad health because of somebody false ass persona itself. We have wealthy man and main male. This is giving me husband energy. Okay? This is somebody who who was in the position of um, a provider, a husband. You know, somebody, because I, we have bad health in marriage, this marriage is in bad health. For some of you guys who are married to your person. For others, you could have been married in the 5D. This is the reason why this, this heartbreak kept happening lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. This wealthy man could was in a position to be the main male in your life. But this marriage is in a bad state. It's in a bad state because this person that you put in high honor turned out to be a false person. 
See what I'm saying? Somebody that you were supposed to be married to, somebody that you was married to, or in a higher level of commitment, or y'all was married in the ethers, in the 5D, something of the sort. But this is a close connection because it happens lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. With this yin and yang energy, it's a twin for some of you, okay? Some of you guys, okay? All right. What can you tell me about suffering and silence and hopeless and helpless? Look, high honor and false person came flying out. That person that you put in high honor that turned out to be that false person that kept breaking your heart, that's facing these challenging times right now, trying to seek the truth about reason why they keep suffering and feeling helpless and hopeless. Oh, they in that state. This is, you know what? I'm going to tell you right like this, collective. With this spiritual court, they done found guilty as charged. And now they're imprisoned. Some of you guys, they could have had another third party with this main, I told you this main female gave me karmic, uh, third party energy. They could be stuck with this third party over here all heartbroken and shit. This is a part of their judgment. In spiritual court, now they got to stick with the motherfucker they kept breaking your heart with. This is for some of you guys. Too many lifetimes. Damn, they sitting in poverty with that one. They ain't going to have no money. Some of them ain't going to have no place to stay. Okay? Stuck with a child that was unexpected. This is a part of this person's karma for keep breaking your heart lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. They know you were to give. Okay? Woman holding a coin. You was, you were coin. You were stable, abundant. This is mother energy. This is wife energy. You was a gift to this person and they fucked it over. They fucked over you. And now they're sitting over here in poverty thinking about a privileged lady. <laughs> okay? Your come up is their downfall. Their downfall is your come up. Energetically. That's what that spiritual court is. They were tried and convicted. What can you tell me about solar plexus chakra and clarity of belief? Holy Spirit. But can you tell me about solar plexus chakra and clarity of belief? Let's get it. Thank you. We have a mature woman in the reverse. This is somebody that's unexper inexperienced here. They got clarity of belief now. Yes, yeah, a message of concern. Okay, so this feminine energy is, is, is also to making me feel like somebody who is um suffer from arrested development. What I mean by it is like, you know, you could be old as shit and still operate in childish energy. Okay, this is a feminine energy or somebody is all in their feelings. Clarity of belief. Why is the uh, message of concern? Yeah, in the community. Somebody could be concerned about somebody's health here. State of mind is what I'm getting. Like I said, for some, earlier in the reading, somebody never wanted to grow up. And they're stuck in this 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 immature energy here. Why is this immature woman in the reverse? Why is the immature woman in reverse? Why is the immature? Thank you. Judication, justice. Something went in your favor. And this is a message of concern to your person. There's something went in your favor. They were acting childish and immature. And because this is a feminine energy, they're, they're feeling emotional. I'm emotional and I can't let go. I'm just saying. Because they stuck over here with a male female karmic energy. Also, too, this person also wanted, also, clarity of belief. This person thought that you was a distorted feminine. Okay? That you wasn't who you said you was. That you was a bad mother. That you was unproductive. That you were lazy. That you were nasty. This is what this person tried to project. Tried to project out to the world to other people. But this person got clarity of belief of who you are. You're not this person. This is how come adjudication came out. Okay? You got justified by, having, by somebody having you in this mature woman energy. In the reverse. You got justice, baby. Your name is cleared is what I'm hearing. They kept you in this 
mature woman in reverse energy. This is the empress energy in the reverse to me. A distorted feminine. Some of you guys, you did you still need to learn lessons from this person. You had to learn lessons with this judication. You learned your lessons. This mature woman will be in the upright. This, 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 with the judication and the mature woman in the reverse, is making me feel like you was naive to this person before until you got your justice due. They heard your case. They won your, you, you won your case in spiritual court and you in the upright. That's the energy that I'm getting. That's the energy that I'm getting, okay? You being justified for being in, uh, immature or not as mature as you should have been dealing with this person. Okay, beautiful. All right, well, let's see. What else can you tell me? Holy Spirit. What else can you tell me about this connection? Let's go. What we have here, soulmates. Yep, twin flame. Soulmate connection here, yin and yang. And soulmates, y'all twins. You know, this could be your twin. Mm hmm We are the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, transformation, growth, change mind. See what I mean? Your person had to grow up. Your person, your person have grown up because the case is closed now. So they can't do nothing but grow up from the things that they are chat that they're facing with these challenging times here for being false. They should have been in high honor. But now they're suffering in silence, feeling helpless and hopeless because they lost their court case in spiritual court. Hmm. What else can you tell me about this connection with spirit? Thank you. We have keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional love, stringing along, one night stand. This is what this person is doing or has done, okay? And this is how you're healing with this girl talk. So it's making me feel like with time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yeah, because this person had you one of the keys on his ring, boo yeah. When you when you won your spiritual court case, boo. Now you now you happily single, having fun, living in the moment. While this one over here stuck with who they they decided to to partner up with. Damn, y'all twin flames. This is a y'all was supposed to be. Uh goal minded couple. Y'all was supposed to come together. In this in this realm, in the three D at this time, and help change the world. Your person dropped the ball. This is why spiritual court came out. This is how come they lost their case. This is how come you're being guided by the angel of love to heal the lifetimes after lifetimes after lifetimes of this broken heart that you keep enduring with your person. They're not that bright. Now they're chasing you. Now they're chasing you because they like you. They like you because of the memories of love that you guys share and they're missing you. They're missing your stability and your security with this woman holding the coin. You was a gift. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. This person was gaslighting, not showing true feelings, hiding, person not personified, all that stuff. They, mm -mm. They were living a life. They were living a lie. And 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 it's and unfortunately, this is damn, I'm gonna have to say, unfortunately, this is your twin. They just couldn't get it right. They're trying to now, but with this seek the truth and think, they still lying to themselves. They still lying to themselves. And this is how come you're free. And they're not. What advice do you have for the collector regarding this person, their person? What advice do you have for the collector? Thank you. We have reconciliation as the advice. Oh, shit, why? You need to pay attention to the red flags and free yourself. This person want to come back and reconcile. Some, someone from your past is returning. They want another go around with this one because they stuck with this, 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 this karmic energy over here. So now they want to come back and reconcile towards you or with you. What can you tell me about this reconciliation? Holy Spirit. 
Let's get it. Thank you. We have attraction. They're highly attracted to you. They're highly attracted to you. Religious factors at the bottom of the deck. But now see, why are they highly attracted? Why are they highly attracted? Because they want to retreat. They want to, they want to disconnect from the world. They don't want you to go out there. They don't want you to go out there and find somebody else or your another your true. For some of you guys, your true twin. You could be dealing with a false twin, but this false person and twin flame. Some of you guys are dealing with a false twin. And this false twin don't want you to go out there to find your true twin. Because like attracts like you are a gift to the world. They fumbled the ball. This is for some of you guys. The soulmate acted as though they were a twin or they felt like they were a twin, but they were just a soulmate. That's how come they, they end up showing up as a false twin. What other advice do you have? So be careful. We seem pay attention to the red flag, so be careful. Then we have honeymoon. It says enjoy this peaceful holiday time together and let go of control issues. So it's making me feel like collective. If you're entertaining somebody else, <clears throat> go ahead and do that because this false twin is going to come back around and try to reconcile with you after you done retreated and went on a honeymoon with somebody else. Okay, this honeymoon energy is it's like a new, like newlywed energy, okay? You know how the newness of love is here? That pup, they call it puppy love, but shit, we grown folks around there. So, it ain't no puppy nothing, it's grown dog. <laughs> okay, this, this grown dog stuff right here. So, yeah, but that's the feeling that I'm trying to explain. And they don't want you to do that. You need to release your ex, you see what I'm saying? This person is going to come back around while you start something else with somebody because they in separation. Because you're in separation with your person and you release them. Here they come around when you retreat and go on a holiday or start something new with somebody else because they are highly attracted to you. Mm -hmm. Yep, but look, you need to pay attention to the red flags because this is an unrequited love, especially if you was married to this person. Okay? Your new person, shit, this could be the one that and flirt a little bit. But that's what they're going to try. That's what they're coming to do. Come and flirt with you because they, they feel as though you're the one for them. But you need to pay, pay attention to the red flags. Because this love is unrequited. Okay. All right, Collective. I'm going to leave it right here. This is what I have for you. If any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.